Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad is your brother Ayathun. And uh, what I have here is a small recording, short recording that I uh, took yesterday. I saw a uh, utility van. I've been seeing utility vans everywhere. Everywhere. Seems like every block or every other block, there's a utility van either digging underneath the ground or up on a telephone wire doing something. So I noticed one on my block yesterday, and the spirit told me that they're uh, installing 5G. So I I uh, approached one of the guys. Actually, uh, I think they're on lunch break. It was around noon, 1230, something like that. But I noticed one guy in a pickup truck down the street. The spirit told me that uh, he was with them and probably just watching over the equipment. So anyway, um, I spoke to him. And um, I recorded the conversation. It's short. It's not a whole lot of information, but he did confirm that it's 5G that they're installing and they're moving at a fast pace and that they're behind schedule. And um, I kind of approached them in a, like a coy manner, a concerned, scared citizen. You know, I took that approach um, to hopefully get him to spill, you know, spill beans, tell me stuff I didn't ask for. But um, listen to the video or watch the uh, listen to the audio, and uh, I may come back after the audio uh, just to say a couple words and maybe end it on that. All right, shalom. Check it out. Hey boss, part of the utility crew? Yeah. They have five G? Yeah. Ah oh, shit. How soon? They gotta get the whole town up, so they gotta do different parts, and then they put everything up. But they've been doing this for like since January. Damn. They have a deadline. Uh, no, just never to get it done. You know? Damn. But they got like 10 crews going out every day. Yeah, I know that. I've seen them, all the construction lately. Yeah, so, you know, they got to get up, they got to test it, you know, for a full five. Do you know, do you know when they're going to put the actual, like, um... Oh, the, uh, no, no. Nah. No idea. You know? Damn, you know, man. Like I said, every day they're working somewhere else, you know, but they should have been done by now. You know, they, they, they were talking about, like, February when I was talking to them in December. Yeah. It's, you know, two months, but... Every day it's something different. You know? Yeah, I, I knew that. Apparently, I think they were trying to get it up. Um, by I think they wanted to get all this done by 2020. Yeah, yeah. Like no, the whole. I, mean, I was talking to them last year, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna do this over the winter, and now it's spring." You know. Yeah, yeah. So it's still not done. It's Damn good, man. Work, work, work for everyone. I'm scared actually. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about all this thing about 5G? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, run for it. yeah. All right, man. How long do you think it's gonna take? Do they? Do you gotta do the whole block, right? No, that, that does that does a certain amount. You know what I mean? And then each house, they already got stuff right back in front of Oh, oh yeah, because um, as long as you're, in, it'll cover the whole block, right? Basically the signal, so you don't have to do we yeah, ride the whole thing. And the stuff's going to the house too. It's gonna be um, um faster too. But don't you need? Don't you just need like the uh, the no, box? No, you're and... talking about the uh, Wi-Fi. Like you're talking about that, but this is the stuff that's going to the houses and stuff. For 5G? Yeah, oh, uh, for, for Optimum. Oh, really? It's not, it's not, this is this is oh. like AT&T and all that. No, oh, this oh, Optimum. oh, They're getting their stuff up. Oh, I'm thinking of the cell towers. Yeah, no, no, this is different. No, no. Oh shit. Yeah, I was in Florida. They had it, but you know, I was down there. My phone wasn't any faster. So. <laughs> oh man, my boy. This was like two years ago. He went somewhere and they had the 5G up. Maybe they were testing it. Yeah. He said he was downloading shit like split second, yeah. Was in Florida? Show the lightning. Well, I don't know. You know? Damn. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> Alright, brothers, sisters, I'm back. Um, so I know the audio hit some low points and um there was some background, a lot of background noise in some areas, so I'll do a quick recap. So, um, yeah, so the guy confirmed that they're putting up uh, 5G towers. And he also said that they're behind schedule. And um, I've been saying lately that they're behind on the 5G technology. And again, the 5G infrastructure up. And um, he confirmed that. He said that um, he's been, uh, they were supposed to have this done by uh, last um, December, you know. So in 2020, the 5G infrastructure, the tower should be should have been up already. Now, one thing um, that uh, he corrected me on is he was running 5G wires to the houses on the telephone poles, not the 5G towers. So I thought he was putting the towers up. Um, so that's going to be the next step is to put up the actual towers, right? 
So the towers will allow them to have 5G all throughout the entire city. And this will basically complete the internet of things. <clears throat> because with the 5G tower throughout the city, they can finally connect, have everything connected together under one infrastructure. Cell phone, any smart devices, um, smart cars, smart TVs, anything. Now, with the uh, 5G wiring to the house, let me tell you what... Uh, what that's going to allow them to do with 5g wiring to the house basically what that's going to do is is going to turn what they can do with that uh that technology is they can run it through your modem and through your wi-fi the signals that your wi-fi sent out and through your phone and all the technology in your house the wireless technology that can connect to that 5g signal they can create a 3d image or 3d map of your property so when they're ready um, to come pay you that visit, they already know what part of the house you're in, how many people are in there, where are they, are they hiding underneath something, are they in the attic? I mean, they know everything. They know where your bathroom is, your kitchen, your sink, um, under the floor, because the 5G technology can penetrate through any infrastructure, including the human body, and map a 3D image. Now, I'll give you a perfect uh, example of that is the movie uh, Batman. And it was Batman versus Superman, the very last one. And if you remember the last scene, when uh, Batman, I believe it's Batman versus Superman. It might be Bane. I might be getting them confused. But either one of those two movies, the one with Bane or Batman versus Superman, at the end of the movie, he had to go into a building and fight. Um, it was Batman versus Superman. He was able... He had to go in a building and fight, um, you know, fight the bad guys or whatever. And if you remember, uh, Morgan Freeman, what he did is he turned all the cell phones on in the building and he was able to create a 3D image of the entire building where all the bad guys were, how many floors, the best way to enter, the best way to exit, because he was able to see a whole blueprint of the entire building by turning on the cell phones and crossing the waves. It built, um, it was like a radar or sonar. So with this 5G technology, they can map your entire house. Matter of fact, if you have an Xbox One, the Xbox One, which is old now, it's old old technology, but that is already outfitted with um, technology that can map your entire house. Even as video game consoles, all the smart technology that you have in your house right now has already been prepared to receive 5g waves and to act with the 5g infrastructure all right so to keep this video short i'm gonna read the scripture and then um you know lord's well i'll catch you catch you on the next next video so the scriptures are first peter's chapter 5 verse 6 it says humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high that he may exalt you in due time verse 7 and casting all your care upon him for he careth for you Right, brothers and sisters. So there's no, uh, there's no reason to be afraid. Do you remember the time um, in the scriptures when it was Yahweh Shai, and uh, I believe it was Peter um, and one other disciple. Um, I don't remember, but uh, you remember they were in a boat um, fishing, and the waters got rough. The waters got rough, and the disciples started bugging out, getting scared. And um, Yahweh Shai was in the boat sleeping. <laughs> he was in a boat sleeping, right? And he basically cursed him out because he said, oh, you know, you have little faith. So when the Lord said, cast all your care upon you, upon him, for he careth for you. Remember, the scriptures speak about building your foundation on Yahweh Shai. So that when the storm and the wind comes down, you're built upon that solid foundation. Your house will stand. So just like when they were in a boat in the middle of the ocean and the road, the waves were tossing, well, that's synonymous to the hell and all the action that's going to be going on in these times right now. But just like how I was sleeping um, because he knew everything would be all right. And he he told the disciples to have faith. Well, it's the same way we're supposed to have faith. And we're supposed to be at ease. And as the scriptures say right here, cast your cares upon the Most High. He will take care of you. Okay? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai will take care of you. And Yahweh Shai himself will come back to deliver you. Deliver his elect. 
So remember that in the times of trouble, you know, when were the righteous um, forsaken? Okay. Uh, verse eight, it says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, which is another word for an enemy or opponent, the devil, which is the deceiver, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour. All right. So um, the devil is, of course, you know, um, the elites. All right. The elites are the devils that are running this game using the uh, coronavirus as a front to install their new world order. And the reason why they're moving so fast, I mean, if you if you uh, listen, he said there's 10 crews going out every single day, at least 10 crews going out. That is unheard of. Everywhere I everywhere you go, um, at least in my city, every turn you take, every two turns, there's utility trucks doing something. He said there's 10 crews going out every day. That means they're moving super duper quick. And um, I mean, what happened to the coronavirus? Everybody's working from home because it's so dangerous out there. Well, if that's the case, why do they have all their boys out there um, installing uh, these cables? You know, they're in a truck, a couple of them in a truck together. And they're, you know, going around the city installing cables. What is it so, what, what is, why is it so important to put it up and to go so fast? Why can't they wait until the pandemic, pandemic is over and everything is safe? I mean, you know, the scriptures say, be sober, be vigilant. So you got to ask yourself these analytical questions to figure out what the hell is going on. But you know what? Two thirds of the people you drive by every day, they could drive by a million utility trucks and they will never that question will never dawn upon them because they are in gross darkness and they're facing that curse of Isaiah 29th chapter where they're just in a deep sleep and they could watch, they could come across all the videos um, about um, the cover up about the 5G and they'll still say, <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll still be lost. But anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.